Your dentist or your doctor told you that you have a TMJ problem. In other words, you have a diagnosis of temporomandibular joint dysfunction. They told you to do exercises, but how exactly should you do exercises for the TMJ problem? Today, I will explain to you what the TMJ is and how to treat it, what are the most common causes of TMJ dysfunction, and finally, I will demonstrate massage and exercises to relax the muscles that move the jaw. So let's talk about TMJ dysfunction today. The temporomandibular joint is where the jaw articulates with the skull to open and close the mouth. This is the most used joint in our body. We use it when we talk, eat or drink something. It gets its name because it connects the temporal bone in the skull to the mandibular bone, also known as the jaw. So it is the temporomandibular joint. The temporomandibular joint is right in front of the ear. The mandible does five basic movements and combinations of them. It does depression, elevation, protrusion, retrusion, and grinding or lateral movement. Depression of the mandible occurs just by gravity. If you just relax the facial muscles, the neck muscles, and the tongue, the mandible depresses a few centimeters. But if you want to open the mouth more than two centimeters, then you need to activate the muscles under the mandible. They will pull the mouth open, but they will also pull the mandibular head outside of its place. And if you place your fingers on your TMJ, now you will notice that the ball is outside of its socket. There is a hole in front of the ear. That is the space that was being occupied by the mandible head. So the opening of the mouth is a combination of two movements, depression and protrusion. Closing the mouth is a combination of elevation and retrusion. The muscles that are involved in the movements of the jaw are very complex and they are located under the mandible, in front of the neck, on our face, outside of the mandible, inside of our mouth, which is inside of the mandible, and also in the skull. The TMJ is a synovial condylar and hinge type joint. There is an articular disc, and this is very important because the disc may become degenerated and move out of its proper place. Very rarely, when there is a TMJ dysfunction, the jaw will stay locked in that position, which is very painful, and the patient needs to go to an emergency for a dentist or doctor to reduce the dislocation. So, TMJ dysfunction or TMJ disorder occurs when the joint, the muscles, or ligaments around the mandible are not functioning properly and there is inflammation or irritation causing pain, noise, popping sounds, locking, and dislocations. The pain can be localized in the joint itself or can radiate to the teeth, the ear, the neck, or the head. What causes TMJ dysfunction? Well, before I continue, let me remind you that this video is for educational purposes only and if you think you have a problem with your TMJ, you need to ask your doctor or your dentist. They need to examine you and give a treatment plan for you. And if there is an emergency, please go to the nearest emergency department or call an ambulance. TMJ dysfunction can be the result of various factors and it's usually difficult to detect only one cause. There are conditions that affect the joint itself. We call them intra-articular problems. There might be a problem with the disc, uh, could be arthritis that can damage the cartilage that protects the bones, or an injury like a fall or a car accident. But there are other structures around the joint, outside of the joint itself, that can lead to dysfunction and pain. We call this extra-articular problems. It could be a chronic grinding or clenching of teeth, a systemic autoimmune inflammatory process like rheumatoid arthritis, 
a connective tissue disease that causes hypermobility and collagen laxity, or muscle tightness, tension, and myofascial trigger points. How do we know if the person has a TMJ dysfunction or if there is another problem? The diagnosis is mainly by the symptoms of pain, local tenderness to palpation, noise and clicking of the joint, and also difficulty to open the mouth. A TMJ that only makes noise without any other symptom is not TMJ dysfunction. That's normal. Making noise is not a problem and there is no need to do any investigation or treatment. Just leave it alone and stop paying attention to the noise. The normal mouth opening varies from person to person. It depends on the size of the person and the size of the mouth. So we ask the patient to make a fist and try to insert the knuckles of their index, middle or ring finger in their mouth. The normal mouth opening is about two and a half to three knuckles. In cases where there is an injury or trauma to the TMJ, we need to take an X-ray, maybe a CT scan or an MRI to look at a specific structure. But if there was no trauma or injury, then we don't need to order an imaging test. Now, the interesting part, how do we treat TMJ dysfunction? First, it is important to identify if there are any factors perpetuating the symptoms like bruxism, grinding the teeth at night. They may, the person may need to see a dentist for a bite plate. Also, people who talk a lot might need some mouth rest or re-education. During the acute phases, patients may need to change to a soft diet and avoid eating hard foods that we a lot of clenching. The person may apply moist heat like a hot damp towel or apply a cold compresses. Your doctor may need to prescribe some pain medications or you can take acetaminophen, anti-inflammatories, muscle relaxants. In some chronic cases, when the person is developing sensitization of the pain system, it's important to include some mind-body therapies like um, cognitive behavior therapy, mindfulness, or meditation. When there is a structural problem of the joint, their doctor might need to book an injection, arthroscopy, or even surgical correction. One of the most common causes of TMJ dysfunction is the tightness of these muscles. The patient may do some exercises to relax, stretch the muscles, especially the muscles that close the mouth. They are very strong muscles. The main muscles are the masseter and the temporal muscle. These two muscles are so strong, probably the strongest muscles of the body relative to their small size. Have you seen the Iron Jaw Girl? Her name is Maria Romanova. Just take a look. If you want to see her full video, click on this link here. You can feel these two muscles. Place your fingers on the side of your head above your ear. Now close your mouth and press tightly, like if you were breaking a popcorn kernel. Do you feel the temporalis muscle here? Now place your fingers on the side of your jaw and press tightly again. Here you feel the masseter muscle. You can do self-massage of these muscles. You can start with a massage on the side of your face and the side of your head. Once you find the muscles, the fibers go up and down. You apply massage perpendicular to the muscle like this. And on the temporalis muscle, you can apply with your knuckles like this. Another way to massage these muscles is by inserting your finger into your mouth. Make sure you wash your hands or you may wear a glove. Find the painful points and apply pressure between your thumb and your index finger on the opposite side. Once you find the tender spot, apply pressure for five seconds. 
repeat on the other side. If this causes too much pain, you may apply an ice pack after this massage. Sometimes you cannot do this intraoral massage because you cannot insert your fingers in your mouth. The mouth, is, the mouth opening is too small. Don't worry. We'll do some exercises that will help to open your mouth. Then you'll be able to do this self-massage exercise. The reason why we apply resistance is to relax the opponent muscles. Every time that you move a joint with opposing movements, like the elbow, it does flexion and extension. If your brain sends an order to the biceps to contract and flex the elbow, there is a reflex that will send an order to the triceps to relax. So we are using this reflex to relax the masseter and the temporalis muscles. When you contract the muscles under the jaw to open the mouth, there is a reflex that will send an order to the masseter and temporalis to relax and let the mouth open. But do not put too much force, especially if you have not been able to open your mouth for a long time. Then you may need to be patient and wait a bit longer. So let's do the exercise for the jaw muscles. First, um, we do some relaxation and self-massage. Find a comfortable position, preferably in front of a mirror. Let, relax your shoulders and your neck. Do a chin tuck. Keep your tongue relaxed. You're going to open and close the mouth slowly. If there is pain, you're going to breathe through your pain and count to 10 with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So while you're doing this, you're counting loud, you're counting, breathing out, you're opening your mouth, just let relax. You know, just like uh, when you are in the back seat of a car, and you take a short nap. Just let gravity pull down the muscles of your face, your tongue, your neck, and relax. Let's start there. So when you are breathing out your muscles, relax. A lot of TMJ dysfunction is caused by stress in our lives. Think about uh, any emotion that you have right now. Are they connected to your pain? Do you feel more pain when you are under stress? When you are afraid, anxious or sad? It's very common that our body will express our emotions. Some people have difficulty to name their emotions or to speak about their emotions. They internalize their emotions. Then the body will externalize these emotions and pain is a very common symptom. The TMJ is very commonly affected. Did you notice if when you are tense, you clench your teeth? Well, a lot of people do that. The other exercise is called resisted mouth opening and closing. Find a comfortable position, preferably in front of a mirror. Relax your shoulders and your neck and do a chin tuck. Keep your tongue relaxed. Make a fist with both hands. Now I'm going to place the back of your fingers under your jaw and your hands will apply a slight pressure up. Not too much. While your hands are pushing up, you're going to try to open your mouth down. Bring it to the maximum opening possible and hold for five seconds. In the end, with one hand, Pull your jaw very lightly down, just one millimeter down. If you gain one millimeter per day, in 20 days you will gain two centimeters. Sure. 
I had a patient a couple of years ago. She was 78 years of age and she was eating puree foods for years because she could not open her mouth more than one centimeter. After I treated her myofascial pain in her masseter, I had to do a trigger point injection and then she started doing the daily exercise at home. She came back to me in follow-up and she was very happy. She told me she was able to eat meat with bones, which she had not done for years. Well, if you like this video, press the thumbs up here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and watch my next video here. Bye!